Hello friends, welcome to SQL Server video tutorial. In today's video, we will see how to insert data into a table in SQL Server. First, go to SQL Server Management Studio and then connect to the server. Now, click on New Query. Then change the database. Here I am using example database. Let's see what are the tables I have in my example database. I have two tables, student and class table. In today's video, we will see how to insert data into student table. These are the columns that I have in student table that is student ID, first name, last name, etc. Before inserting the data into student table, let's check whether we have some data in student table. Query for checking the data is select star from table name. That is select star from student. As you can see here, I don't have any data in student table. We can insert data into a table in two ways. One is from the query window and the other is from the user interface. First, let's see how to insert data into this table from the query window. Syntax for the insert script is insert into table name. Values. and the values that you want to insert value 1, 2, 3, etc. Another syntax is insert into table name you can provide the column names and you can insert the data into only those columns which you provide in the column list here column 1, column 2, etc. insert into table name column names values and for column 1 value 1 column 2 value 2 something like that okay uh, let's see this with an example here insert into student first i am providing the columns and then i'll be providing the values see, here i have Taken all the column names, insert into table name, column names, comma separated. Then after you provide the list of columns, then use the keyword values. Here in brackets you can give the values student id I am giving as 1 and then student first name I am giving then student last name, father name, class, tuition fee etc details here The number of columns in the insert into columns should match with the number of values that you provide in uh, values bracket. This row is inserted. Let's see the data in student table that is select star from student. As you can see the data which we inserted now is present in the student table. Let's try to insert with a different method that is insert into table name directly we can provide the values here without giving the column names
now let's check whether this second row is inserted or not select star from student table as you can see we have two rows here this is how we can insert data into sql server using the user interface click on um, right click on the table name and click on open table this will show you the existing data now here in the user interface you can enter the values for student id i am entering here 3 on student name i am providing andrew and stu uh, student first name last name father name class tuition fee etc details i am providing here now we don't have to do anything here we don't have to save it it will automatically be saved in the database so we just have to close this and let's check whether this third row is inserted or not select start from student table okay as you can see the third row which we inserted through user interface is also present in student table here you can insert one more row if you want this is how you can insert data into tables that is this is how you can store the data in the tables Thanks for watching videos.